It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking negative exponents, where we're going to review the negative exponent rule. Here is our math question for today. Which of the following expressions has a value that is greater than zero? And we're given four answer choices. So I'm going to have you pause the video now, pick which value is greater than zero, and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. Once again, reviewing greater than zero is what we're looking for uh, from these four expressions. So I can see that when I look at these expressions, they all have a negative exponent. First common misconception students have is that negative exponent means that the value is negative. That is not true. Let's look at our rule. When we have a base raised to a negative exponent, that is equal to the reciprocal and when you take the reciprocal, the exponent becomes positive. So I take any base with a negative exponent, I rewrite it to be one over that power with a positive exponent. So when I look at this, I can see that because the first two answer choices, A and B, have negative outside the parentheses, that it does not matter what happens to this power, it's going to be negative. A negative value is less than zero. So therefore, I can eliminate answer choices A and B because these are gonna be equivalent to a negative value. So that leaves me C and D to pick from. So when I look at these powers, I need to understand how to rewrite them. They're both a negative exponent. So let's look at the first one. We have a power, negative four to the negative four. Our base is negative four our exponent is negative four. So when we look at this, we're gonna rewrite this to be one all over our power with a positive exponent. So I took my negative n, flip it, positive n. Now when I rewrite this to understand what this represents, that means I'm gonna take negative four and multiply it by itself four times. So one over four negative four is being multiplied. When I consider my multiplication rules of negative values, two negatives, so when you multiply a negative by a negative, same sign, it becomes positive. Here's another pair, that would be positive. So four times four times four times four, one over that value would be positive. So that is greater than zero. So it looks like I have my answer, but let's look at D and see why it might not be true. So when I see that this is greater than zero, now I'm gonna rewrite this power to be one over negative five to the positive five, which is one over five negative fives multiplied by each other. So when I consider a pair, this would be positive, this would be positive, but I have an odd man out, meaning one over five multiplied by itself five times would be negative because I have one negative value left. So that means this would be positive, positive, negative, giving me a negative value, which makes this fraction less than zero. Therefore, we can eliminate choice D, clear our workspace, and we can see that answer C is the only value here that would be greater than zero. And there you have it. That is how you interpret negative exponents using a rule Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll subscribe and have a great day.